Hey babes, it's been a while since I've done a get ready with me video and since I've been so stressed lately I figured I'd do a get ready with me because these kind of relax me and you all seem to enjoy these as well. So to get started I'm going to curl my hair. This is just a one inch curling iron that I purchased years ago from Sally Beauty and I'm starting at the bottom section and doing about one to one and a half inch sections and curling under and then pinning and letting that cool off. And this is just the same process I do all the time in all my tutorials. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I always like to start from the bottom and then work my way up and continue to the sides and to the crown. And as usual, when you get to the bang section, just be sure to curl your bangs in the direction that you want your wave to go. And this is how it should look when you're complete. So now I'm going to get started on my makeup while this sets. I'm going to start with the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Primer on my face. And today I'm putting extra primer because I had a laser facial so I need it really moisturized and I'm taking my Kat Von D contour palette and using this peachy shade just to go underneath my eyes to clear those dark circles and kind of get a little bit of red around my nose. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Warm Natural. This one is a buildable coverage, but like I mentioned, I had had a laser facial, so I needed to use something that didn't have such a heavy coverage um, to first start off with. So this one's great if you're looking for something light, but then want to eventually build it up on other days when you're, when you're going to go out or, you know, something simple like that. But as you'll see, my face is kind of shiny. <laughs> because I did have to put a lot of moisturizer on. My face is sloughing right now, so it felt like sandpaper. Well, in this video, it felt like sandpaper. Then I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and that's going to kind of take away that shine that I have on my face. Now I'm going in with my Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones. And this is just a gel that kind of builds up on the eyebrows and this is going to give me some color and some fullness. I'm taking Benefit Cosmetics Browsing's Shape Kit and I'm going to start with the gel portion. And this is just going to help clean up my brows just so everything's smooth and I don't have any flyaways or they don't look crazy. And then once I've shaped my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the powdered portion. And this is just going to fill in my eyebrows just so the gel can blend in with my natural hairs and with my microblading. Now I'm taking my Deck of Scarlet palette. This is the Pro Deck Magnetic palette. And right now they're having a deal where if you buy 10 shadows, you'll get this magnetic palette for free. And they also have these beautiful foil shades and as well as these matte ones. And the first one I want to get started with is Soft Filter. This one is just a beautiful cream shade. It actually goes really well with my skin tone, blends in well, and this is just going to help blend out all my other shades. Then I went in with IRL and I just absolutely love, love, love this kind of tannish orange shade. I know I tend to get this shade a lot, but it's just my favorite. And as you can see, it goes on extremely smooth. It's very buttery. And I had to, had to use this crimson shade. It's called Caitlin and just 
look how amazing this foil shadow is. Just with one dip, I almost filled up my whole eyelid. And it's so pigmented. It's absolutely stunning. I knew I was going to have fun with this color. So I just wanted to try something new. And I fell in love with it. And as you can see, it just blends so smooth. I just love how velvety and creamy it is. And I didn't have much fallout. I normally get their Deck of Scarlet subscription palettes, which they tend to collab with a lot of YouTubers, um, but this time I was really excited to get the foil shadows and the matte shadows. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful, so be sure to check them out. I'll leave their link in the description box below. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner and just creating a dramatic wink to go with my eyeshadow. And these lashes, I just, I coupled two different lashes, so I need to figure out what they are or find some similar and then put them in the description box below. I'm going in with my Urban Decay palette with uh, their collaboration with Gwen Stefani, and I'm taking the shade Lo-Fi. This is my favorite contour powder blush shade. As you guys know, I wear it all the time. I think it just goes so well with my skin tone. And then I'm taking the Urban Decay Back Talk Palette in the shade Double Take. And this is just more of a warmer pink. Then I'm taking the shade Party Foul. And this is just going to be a very subtle highlight. I know mine's usually a little bit more dramatic than this. But I just wanted to keep it subtle because my eyes are more dramatic. Going in with Frankie Rose Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rosé All Day. I thought this would be a great pair with my eyeshadow. And since the lipstick dries mad, I wanted a little bit of shine, so I'm taking my Urban Decay High Shine in the shade Fireball. And this one's just perfect. It's going to add some beautiful shine to my lips. And here's the final makeup look. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally like to use but I just wanted to try something different <laughs> so now moving on to hair I'm taking my lift and tease comb by con air I bought this at Target but it works extremely well and I'm going to start with the bottom just teasing out the bottom portion just to kind of get a little bit of lift and volume into the bottom of my hair and then I'm going to start unpinning all the other curls except for the ones that are considered my bangs Now I'm using my fingers just to kind of break the curls up and then I'm taking my teasing comb and teasing from underneath just to kind of calm those curls down and start blending them and molding them all together. And this is just the same process that I always use with vintage hair. It's pretty much the same thing. You have to try to blend and mold these curls together. You don't want to fight with your hair. You want to work with it. Like I always say, just let it do its thing. You'll have to guide it a little bit, but for the most part, it already knows what it wants to do. And as usual, I'm just pulling the right side portion and pinning that behind my ear. Now I'm taking my Chi Helmet Hairspray and once I've molded it the way I want, I'm just going to spray it and make sure to set it so it doesn't start going flat or going crazy if I'm out in the wind or something. Now going to my bangs, I'm really going to start teasing at the root and then loosening up as I work my way down towards the ends. Mm -hmm. 
once I'm complete with teasing, I'm just going to switch to another teasing comb, one with the more softer bristles, and just blending everything together. I'm going to mold it with my hands and spray some hairspray. And I always just let my bangs tell me what it wants to do. If it starts getting a little crazy, then I'll, I'll guide it. But for the most part, my, bang, my bangs and my curls pretty much go where they're supposed to. So uh, the longer you've been doing this, the more you'll be able to understand what your hair wants to do. Uh, but this is the completed hair look. Moving on to my outfit, this is my wiggle dress from Pin Up by Cindy. I got this years ago at Ink and Iron. I know it's dirty at the butt because I was I had lotion on my hands, so please ignore that. <laughs> but I decided to pair it with this stud uh, mesh duster from Fashion Nova. I absolutely loved the two paired together. I think it just completely changes the dress. It adds more um, drama to it and I decided to pair it with my Christian Louboutin heels because those are mesh as well. But as you can see it's just beautiful. I love the little bow in the front and then I love the studs. From the back it looks like a completely different dress than the front. The front has you know that floral design. It looks beautiful but I just love it all together. <laughs> So that is it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Thank you loves. Bye